I trust that our praise go up as a sweet smelling savor this morning. Amen. That it is said in our midst as we as we worship him this morning. Because truly, amen. That's what we're here to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jehovah is your name.
I have made my preparation from this world. I separation. Oh, I am walking on God's highway when He calls me. Oh, if you miss me one of these mornings, don't come searching one of these days. If you can't find me, you know that I'm gone. Yes, I am. If you don't hear from me, don't come and knock it at my door. I'll be gone in the twinkling of that eye. Oh, if you miss me, don't come searching. No, no, no. If you can't find me, you know where I'm gone. Oh, and if you don't care, nearby, don't come and knock it. I'll be gone in the twinkling of an eye. So don't be grieving because I'm leaving. my mind to go God's way the rest of my life oh yeah a goodbye word oh yeah I'll stay no longer no longer no longer goodbye pleasure oh yeah I'll stay no longer oh I'll be in my mind to go God's way I made up my mind to go God's way. Made it up, made it up, made it up. I made up my mind to go God's the rest of my life.
Merry Christmas um, to our Bishop of the house and brothers and sisters. Greetings in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. When the songs was going forth, I thought of Matthew chapter 7, that there are those people who are on the broad road, and there are those of us who find the narrow path. And those who find the narrow path can sing this song that heaven is better than this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Only those who are walking on God's highway can sing this song that heaven. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's better than this. Yeah. Amen. When I read the book of martyrs that I've been studying for the past couple months or so, and men were willing to be burned to the stake for their salvation. What will we do when our time comes to be tested? But heaven, my brothers and sisters, is better than this. And one of these fine days, hallelujah, Jesus Christ shall burst a cloud asunder and shall call those who says yes to him. One of these fine days, heaven is truly better than this. Lord Jesus, Lord, we come to you believing you, God. The Lord God, you are the keeper of our covenant this morning. Lord, you are the great I am, the physician of all physician, the prophet of the prophets. Lord, we come, O oh God, to the burden bearer and the problem solver this morning. Lord God, we come to the one who has laid the foundation of the earth. The Lord God, the one who knows before we were formed in our mother's womb. Lord, we come to you believing you this morning. Lord God, we pray God that you would anoint your word this morning. Lord God, anoint the lip that speak and Lord God, the hearers that would hear it, God. And Lord God, you know the need of every house this morning. Lord God, we pray that you'd minister to every heart. Lord God, you come in love. And we want to come in love this morning, God. The Lord Jesus, that the promise of our heart would be fulfilled this morning. The Lord God, we will not take our desires. But Lord God, may it be your desires on us, O God, this morning. Bless your children. Bless the house. Remember those who are not here this morning. Lord God, we pray that you'd bless them. Bless, Lord God, even the strangers within our gates this morning. But, Lord God, we pray for a spirit of deliverance. The Lord God, everyone that comes into your house, uh, oh God, might be deliverer of their infirmities this morning. Have thine own way as we thank you this morning and we believe you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. You won't leave here. Like you came in Jesus' name, bound, oppressed, tormented, sick or lame. For the Holy Ghost in Acts is still the same. You won't leave here like you came in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Hallelujah. Shake somebody in and said, God bless you. I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord. As I greet you this morning in the name of our King, the Lord Jesus Christ, I say I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. God's house is a house of prayer. It's a house of praise. And I tell you, if you're in the house and you're desperate, you will be delivered. Because you shall have what you ask in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. How many love him this morning? Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'd like you to turn your Bibles to the book of St. Luke, chapter 10. I'd like to read a few verses this morning. Just greet you all. Amen. Glad to see the faces that are here. I want to remember those who are taking their vacation early. And uh, not here this morning. I'd like to read a few verses there in St. Luke chapter 10. And um, we, we'd use a service for uh, a scripture for our prayer meeting 
on Wednesday night. I'd like to also just read that in remembrance of our brethren in St. Luke 10. Let me read one, verse one, the first verses, and I'll go to uh, verse 18. And it says, And after these things, the Lord appointed other seventy also, and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place, whether he himself would come. Wherefore, therefore, said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he might send forth laborers into the harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you forth as lamb among wolves. Carry neither purse nor script nor shoes. Salute no man on the way. And into whatsoever house he entered, first say, Peace be to this house. And if the son of peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. If not, it shall turn to you again. And I'd like to read from verse 18. And he said unto them, Behold, Satan, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. I want you to take those words. Amen. There's something about the believer is that we can lift the word of God out of history and make it present tense. Would you say amen? amen. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the serpents are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The Northern St. John chapter 14, hallelujah. Verse 1, he said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions, and if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there he may be also. Then I'd like to read verse 13 for your focus this morning. And whatsoever he shall ask in my name. Hallelujah. Do you believe this morning? That will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. If he shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. That is God's word. Hallelujah. I want you to say this morning, if I would ask anything in the name of Jesus, he will do it. Do you believe that this morning? Shake your neighbor hand and says, he's going to do it. He's going to do it this morning. I believe he's going to do it this morning. He's going to bring a victory this morning. Hallelujah. He's going to bring a deliverance this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, your prayers have been heard. And the answer is on the way. There's a miracle in the making for you today. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I'd like to speak this morning on the atmosphere for manifestation. You may be seated everywhere. Hallelujah. You know, in everything that we do, we create an atmosphere. Your attitude creates an atmosphere. Is that right? That atmosphere can either be positive or negative. You know, one of the things that you ought to do as a believer is never let your testimony be negative. But, but let it be positive. You, you know, it, it, it's you say that it's half empty. But you could also say it's half full. It's going up. Hallelujah. God's working on it. And I'll tell you what, he's not finished with it yet. Hallelujah. You see, it's your attitude that brings uh, the manifestation. Last week I was preaching on paralyzed faith. And your faith can become paralyzed by your experiences. 
by the circumstances of your life, the things that you've gone through, your experiences really, amen, because it creates a framework in the way you see your God. Hallelujah. But Jesus, uh, when he speak, hallelujah, he had the power of infallibility. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I've got power to lay my life down and I've got power to take it up back again. You know, when Simon Peter looked at the fig tree that Jesus cursed and he was coming back, he said, Master, the fig tree that you curse is wither away. Jesus said, have faith in God. Hallelujah. Because if you would say to this mountain, hallelujah, and I don't think that there was a mountain as it were physically before them, but he was talking about a circumstance of your life. If you would say to this mountain, be moved and don't doubt, then all that you say shall come to pass. You see, you've got to have, hallelujah, authority by your word. Amen. We've got to know who we are. Is that right? Amen. The Bible said in Acts 1 and verse 8. Amen. Who is he talking to? Amen. He said, and you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Amen. God hates a powerless church. Is that right? Amen. And I'll tell you wherever God is. Amen. God will express himself. Is that right? Amen. Like we said, if I have a spirit, hallelujah. Amen. Of Bob Marley, I would be a singer of reggae this morning. If I had the spirit of Usain Bolt, I'd be an athlete. But if I had the spirit of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, then I could take all nature under my control. Amen. Elijah, we didn't know where he was coming from. Amen. But when he went up to the palace, amen. To Abe, Ahab, and Jezebel, hallelujah. Amen. He said, there will not be rain nor dew until I call for it. Are you there with me? Yet like a man, he was weak. He was running from Jezebel. Amen. But the spirit of God that was upon him. Amen. God sustained him. Amen. By the brook share it. Are you there with me? If you stand for God, God is going to stand for you. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, we as Christians, we think that we've got to wait uh, until the lightning flash uh, and the thunder roll. Uh, are you there with me? Uh, amen. When Moses came upon the Red Sea uh, and the people cry, uh, amen, they said it was uh, better for us, uh, amen, to die in, to, hallelujah, in Egypt. Uh, you bring us here, uh, amen, that we might die in the wilderness. Uh, amen. Moses cried to God. Uh, and God said, uh, amen, I've already given it to you. Hallelujah. What's in your hand? Amen. Stretch it across the Red Sea. Are you there with me? Amen. And everything that you need for God. Amen. It's not in your psychology. It's in your birth. Is that right? Hallelujah. Amen. What we ought to do as believers is to get, hallelujah, the first thing first. Amen. Jesus said to Nicodemus, he said, you must be born again. Is the right? Amen. And there's something about a bird. It's a mess. Hallelujah. Amen. If an animal is born in a manual pile, it's a mess. If a child is born in a pink laid hospital bed, it's still a mess. And if you're born by the power of the Holy Ghost, amen, that birth is a mess because you've got to rid yourself. Amen. Not everything that you are and let God come on the inside of the inside. Are you there with me, somebody? Amen. We want a birth. Amen where we are poised with all our faculty amen and everything amen but the Bible said they that hunger and thirst after righteousness amen shall be filled yes. hallelujah Amen, I want to come to a point amen that you've emptied yourself of everything that you are Amen, that you realize, uh, amen, that there's nothing in me, uh, amen, but everything is in Christ. Uh, I read this week where somebody said, uh, amen, looking at myself, uh, I see no way where I can be saved. Uh, but when I look at Jesus Christ, uh, I see no way that I can be lost. It is not you, it is him. I thank God, 2 Corinthians 5, uh, 21, uh, amen, that he become me, 
that I might become him by faith. Hallelujah. The Bible said the woman come to him and she was crying out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. She was not a Jew. She had no claim on him. Amen. As a son of David. And Jesus never even turned around. Hallelujah. But the Bible said, hallelujah, the disciples said, Master, she called for you. He said, it's not right to take the children's bread and give it to the dogs. Amen. And she heard him. But she said, yeah, Lord. But even the dogs lick the crumb from the table. The Bible said she worship him and he stopped him in his track. Hallelujah. Are you there with me, somebody? Glory. If you want to touch God this morning, you can touch him by your prayer. You can touch him by your praise. You can touch him by the desperation that's in your heart. Because God always hears a desperate cry. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell you, if you keep him on your mind, he comes on the scene. If you talk about him, he comes on the scene. The Bible said they were coming from Jerusalem. Amen. Back to him in us. Because all the festivity. Amen. Everything was over. Amen. This great man Jesus. Amen. They had crucified him. Buried him. It's a third day. And somebody stole the body. That's what they said. Amen. But as they pondered about him. He came by them. And he said oh fools and slow of heart. To believe all that the prophets said. And he began to expound to them the scripture. And the Bible said did not their hearts burn. With him as he talked to them along the way. And when he reached him in us. He goes as though he would have gone a little further. Hallelujah, and they bid him to stay. Hallelujah, invite him. Come have bread with us. Come break bread. And they said when he took the bread, and he blessed it, and when he broke it, ah, their eyes were open. They said we have seen a man break bread like that before. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, there's got to be a people on the face of the earth uh, that's going to lift Jesus Christ out of history. Amen. And make him present tense again uh, before the rapture. There's got to be a people, amen, that let the words of the scripture live again. Are you there with me? Amen. We are living in the day, amen, when the word of God, amen, that's on the pages of the Bible, amen, for hundreds and hundreds of years, he's going to live again in a body because somebody realized that this word is Christ and this word is speaking about me. Hallelujah. Amen. Finding your person in the word of God. Knowing who you are. Stop living below your privilege. Because God is not dead. God is alive. Samson had it all with him. Amen. He had a Nazarene vow. It was between him and God. It was a secret. Hallelujah, and he wear that seven lock upon his head. Hallelujah, amen, but Samson had a weakness. You know, they said by Bible history, Samson was not a big man. He was a small fellow, but when the spirit of God was upon him, he was more than a normal man. Amen, and he, hallelujah, went all the way over to the Philistines, amen, and took Delilah. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said in Proverbs, he said, can a man put fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Hallelujah. Amen. And so Samson, he took the fire and he put it into his bosom. What did he expect? Oh, Samson represent the church. Delilah represent the world. 
Hallelujah. Amen. She want to know the secret of his friend. Amen. Then Samson begin to flirt. Amen. With the world. Amen. If you tie me with wish. Amen. That never was tied. Hallelujah. That I'll be like other men. And so as soon as she do it, she called the lords of the Philistines. And they come upon him. And he break it forth. Why did you lie to me? Oh, what is the secret of your strength? If you tie me with new rope that never, never been used, then I'll be like other men. It was just playing. Just a game. Hallelujah. Amen. And so she tied him with new rope and she called the men of the Philistines and he break it forth. Hallelujah. But she said, now Samson, I know you don't love me. Oh, and my be how much I love you. That I entertain you. Hallelujah. Tell me what is the secret of thy strength. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, Samson, he becomes so weak. Hallelujah. He was broken. Oh, my be was crying and he said, well, you know, Delilah, I, I really realize you love me. Amen. You know the seven lock upon my head? It's a secret. I've got a Nazarite vow. It is between me and God. And the Bible says she put him upon her lap. Hallelujah. And she put him to sleep. Hallelujah. Glory. And as soon as she began to, begin to sleep, she called a man and they cut the seven locks from his head. Hallelujah. They remove the secret of his friend. Hallelujah. She called the lords of the Philistine. Come this once more. This is it. Hallelujah. Church, the world is after you. Friendship with Jesus. Fellowship divine. Oh, what blessed, sweet communion. Jesus is a friend of mine. But if you love the world or the things of the world, then the love of God is not in you. Oh, let me tell you, the Paul says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. And be all, all things have become new. He's a rat. Amen. You're a child of God. Don't flirt with the things of the world. You know the Bible said it's in Mark 16. If you drink any deadly thing, it shall not harm you. But don't go and say, give it to me. Let me drink it. No. But if you do it unaware, God will protect you. Amen. The power of God is not for public show. He's a rat. He's a secret of the believer. We've got a covenant with God. Are you there with me? And whatever you stand in need of, God is your defense. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Jesus went by the pool of Bethsaida, tell me how many sick were there? How many lame were there? Hallelujah. Did he not have power to heal everyone? But he went for one man. One man. One man. 38 years. Would thou be made whole? I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me in. But while I am going, somebody go before me. He's a rat. Hallelujah. Glory, Jesus tell him, take up your bed, walk. There's a day when it's your day. Hallelujah. There's a time when it's your time. It's a right. But God has put a secret inside of you. Amen, the woman of Samaria. It was a time yet. They were drinking from Jacob's well. Hallelujah. And when he comes, Messiah is coming. And when he comes, he's going to tell us what we ought to do. In other words, he's going to update our experience. Tell us where we go from here. And Jesus said to the woman, Woman, hallelujah, I that speak unto thee, I am he. 
What a time when he said the whole will come. And now is the hour. Now is the hour. He was declaring the time. Hallelujah. There's a time for manifestation. You know why? Because we're going to leave here in a Mount Zion rapture showdown. Hallelujah. There's going to be a body change. Are you there with me? Amen. All things. Amen. It's going to come to perfection. There'll not be one man in that rapture with one hand, one foot. There's no sickness, no pain, no heartache will be there. Are you there with me? We are coming to a day where the word of God is coming to power inside of the believer. There's going to be a change. Hallelujah. Glory. <laughs> Read what the word of God says. There's going to be a change. Is that right? And the only ones that's going to be made a change is those under expectation for the change. Is that right? Under expectation. Those that will make the word of God live again. Those who are not under confusion of the world, flirting with the world, are you there with me? But I tell you in the book of Acts, amen, we've seen a change, hallelujah, we've seen a rapture, and there's gonna be a rapture, amen, like that one that we've seen, are you there with me? The only thing that will mount up is not Baptist, is not Pentecost, is not Church of God, it's gonna be Jesus Christ, are you there with me? When all the labels of the world is gonna move from the believer, and you are united with Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul said here we look for a glass. Amen. Darkly at the glory. But then face to face. Are you there? Oh glory. We are being changed into that same image. From glory unto glory unto glory. That's where we're going. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't want nothing here to hinder me from going home. Hallelujah! If you watch the cares of this world, he's taking you, amen, from the cares of Christ. He's a rat. But Jesus, when he anoint them, he sent them out. Notice, Jesus made them disciples. Hallelujah! Amen! And he said all the 70, amen, and they went out, and they come back, and they said even demons are subjected unto us by thy name. Is that right? Jesus tell the woman of Samaria, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit. Notice he said, and... Not spirit or spirit and a truth is a right. Sometimes there's more focus on the spirit, yet there is no truth. But the Bible said, Thy word, Lord, is truth. Is a right. Hallelujah. There's got to be another Ephesian church. There's got to be another book of Acts. Is a rat. There's got to be another insurgent of the power of God back in the church. Is a rat. Amen. For Joel 2 said, Hallelujah, I will restore all the years that the locust, the caterpillar, the canker worm, the palmer worm, hallelujah, my great army that I've sent among you, I will restore. There's gonna be a restoration of the original word, the original truth. He's a rat. The truth, hallelujah, went on the ground, hallelujah, when it was voted against, and nice aroma, but God, God to restore. He's not coming back for what the church says, but what the word says. Is a right, hallelujah, for many shall come in my name, and said, hey, there is Christ, and here is Christ, and shall deceive many. 
and false prophets shall arise and nation shall turn against nation and because iniquity will arise the love of the word can never fail is a right hallelujah and so what we're in we're in the period of the restoration of the bright tree it was eaten down by organized religion but God said I will restore all those years I'm going to restore it to you amen we saw the church in power hallelujah the Bible said of the gate beautiful they were, hallelujah they were going to purr going to the temple of the whole purr and a man begged for harm and Peter said silver and gold have I none but such as I have give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ rise up and walk hallelujah I was making note that I've seen in Nigeria and has spread across the world. I mean, one woman with her arm pulled up and five different preachers praying for the same woman receiving, uh, hallelujah, money because of a gift of healing for the same woman. Is that right? Now I say to you, of those thousands of people that were rejoicing, is there not one man with spiritual discernment to know that that is not a miracle but a lie? Satan has entered the church, has entered the church world, an impersonator, and let the church formal and powerless. He's a rat, but if there's a counterfeit dollar, it's only a reflection that there's one somewhere that is real. Hallelujah! Satan in the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah! He could not create, but he could pervert what God has created. And there's many perverters in the church today, but the word of God is truth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everywhere today, if there's not a prophet, people don't gather. And everybody wants a word of prophecy. Amen. Amen. Which the word of God says. Hallelujah. In Revelation chapter 10 and verse 11. For you must prophesy again. Is that right? And every time the word make a declaration. There's a counterfeit that the devil sent out to deceive the people. Hallelujah. But God is coming back uh, with the genuine anointing uh, that's spoken of uh, in the book of Corinthians. Uh, there's going to be a fivefold ministry. Hallelujah. Of apostles, pastors, teachers. Hallelujah. Amen. Evangelists. Uh, Hallelujah and prophets, uh, are you awake with me? And then there's going to be nine uh, spiritual gifts to bring the church back in order and when the early church was in order we had an ananas and a sapphira that sell their possession hallelujah and brought it to the church and lie before the holy spirit tell me church what happened hallelujah and another as a nice I'm going to proclaim the word. He was dropped dead right there. And they carried him out. His wife never knew that her husband just dropped dead for lying to the Holy Ghost. And she come in with the same scheme. What happened to her? She dropped dead right there. God started his church the way he wanted. And God wants his church the way he started it. But in order for that to happen, he's got to come back to the original church. <coughs> Let us look back at the original church. You know, they asked the question, when did the church started? 
Some say, well, at Antioch because, uh, amen, there they call them Christians. But the church started on the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. When the Bible said there was a rushing mighty wind and it came and filled the house, amen, where they were staying, and there appeared unto them, amen, let me say, pillars of fire. The Bible said cloven, parted tongues of fire, and it sat upon every one of them. Hallelujah, and they begin to speak. Hallelujah, and they came down. Amen, the Bible said these men were ignorant and unlearned. But when the Holy Ghost in the form of the fire sat upon them, they had holy boldness. They came down out of the upper room, upper room and they were speaking. No, brethren, the Bible said, uh, will gather their men uh, from every walk of life. Uh, and they heard them speak in the language where they were born. No, these men were all Galilean. Hallelujah. They were speaking Galilean. But when they speak, those from Arabia hear them speak. Uh, hallelujah. The Arabic language. Hallelujah. And wherever they were from, go back and read the scripture. Hallelujah. And they were praising God. And they said, these men are drunk. But they said, we're not drunk. As you suppose. It's just the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. In this day, this is the hour that the word of God must be fulfilled. There's going to be church and church and church, preachers and preachers and preachers, and then somebody realize, amen, that the original church has got to come on the scene again. Are you telling me? With the original word, the original life, the original seed, because the same seed, amen, that was planted, amen, that same seed has got to come up into fruit. Is that right? Hallelujah. You can't plan one thing and get something else. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. And Peter said, Hallelujah. Amen. On the day of Pentecost, what a message. Amen. This is that which was spoken by David, by Joel. Hallelujah. They said, men and brethren, what shall we do? It's a question. What shall we do? He said, repent, every one of you, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Now, that word remission of your sins, all your past sins to be wiped away, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, people take those scriptures and they said, oh, that's Jesus only doctrine, rubbish. That's Bible. That's where the church started at. Amen? And the Bible said out of that first crusade were added to the church 3,000 men. Hello! Glory to God. And the church continue on from there in the apostles' doctrine. Hallelujah! And when the council hear it, they tell them, you can teach and preach in any other name. Peter said, whether it's right or wrong. Hallelujah. For there's no other name in heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, but by the name of Jesus Christ. He said, Jesus said to the woman of Samaria, in spirit and in truth. For God has made this same Jesus, whom you've crucified, both Lord and Christ. Amen. That the Bible declare that the family name of heaven and earth is the Lord Jesus Christ. That in the Old Testament it was declared to them. By my name Jehovah. Was I not known? Hello. Glory. But in Isaiah. He said I am the Lord your God. Your sa and beside me. There is no savior. Hallelujah. 
We're going to come back to the word of God. The Bible said in Deuteronomy, hallelujah, that there is one God. Hallelujah. And the Bible said that Satan know that there's one God. And he trembled. Hallelujah. For the Jehovah of the Old Testament is Jesus Christ of the New Testament. Are you there with me, church? Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, we go back now to St. John 14. Hallelujah. Verse 5. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you have known me, you have known my Father also. And from henceforth, he know him and have seen him. How did they see him? They see Jesus. Hallelujah. They've seen Jesus Christ. We've got to let the Bible speak and the word of God be the word of God. God is a spirit. Is that what he tells the woman? God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. When we say God, we mean Elohim Jehovah. We mean the eternal spirit that fill all space, time, and eternity. Hallelujah. But my God become man. All that was God was poured into Christ. Is that right? And in Christ, Philippians 2 says, uh, He's the fullness of the Godhead bodily. How could God be omnipresent when Jesus was a man in one place? You see, his very spirit, his soul, was the soul of God. And this is a body. God, prepare me a body. And God stepped down into that body. That body, John 1 says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Verse 12. And the word was made what? Flesh and dwell among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of. As of. As of. Jesus. The only begotten. Full of grace. And truth. Is that right? So whatever we do in words or in deed, we do what some. Whatever we do in words or deed, we do some. Whatever we do in words or in deed, we do all in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel, which is being interpreted God with us. Hallelujah. Spirit and in truth. And Jesus then said, except you believe that I am he, you shall die your sins. Hallelujah. There's only one testator. Between God and man. And it's a man Christ Jesus. He was all man. Yet he was all God. Hallelujah. Show us the father. And it suffice us. Have I. Have I been so long time with you. And you have not known me. Who did I say. Show us the father. But have I been so long time with you. And you have not known me. If you have seen me. You have seen the father. For I am in my Father. My Father in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us look at St. John 14 and verse 18. I will not leave you. Who? I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while. And the world shape me no more. But ye see me. 
because I live, he shall live also. St. John 14, 20. It brings a transformation of church Christian to the Christians of the spirit. At that day, hallelujah, at that day, ye shall know that I and my father and he in me, listen what the Bible says, and I in you. Where is Jesus Christ today? Is in the believer. Hallelujah. The works of Jesus Christ is in the believer. Christ is in his church. Hallelujah. At that day, what day? When you and him become one. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory. Which day you and God become one? The day you were born again. It's no longer your life. It is God's life in you. My God. For I am in the Father. The Father in me. And I in you. Are you there with me? I and my Father are one. Now the church teaches. Coming out of the council of Nicaea Rome. God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Brethren, that's a spirit of idolatry. Because there's no way outside of the doctrine of the Catholic Church that you can declare that God is in three persons. No, sir. God, the Father of the Old Testament, He put on skin that Moses see the back part of a man. Because he said, no man see my face and live. And Abram coming from the slaughter of the kings, the five kings, he met Melchizedek. You see, if they would know who Melchizedek is, the Bible said he's a king of Salem, which is a king of peace. Christ, when he came, the Bible said he's a prince of peace. Melchizedek come, a man. Christ came as a child. Amen. But it's an image of the invisible God. So the Bible said of Melchizedek, he had no father, no mother, no beginning of days, no end of life. Remember now, he come to break the order of the Aaronic priesthood, which could not continue by reason of what? Debt. But the Melchizedek, Melchizedek priesthood is eternal. So you and I, we're not under the erotic priesthood. No, sir. We're not under the erotic priesthood. No, sir. Or else when you die, your son would take your salvation. And when he die, his son take his salvation. We were under the Melchizedek priesthood. There remain a priest forever. Your soul, the very soul of God. When you have eternal life, you have God's life in you. There's only one form of eternal life, and that is the life of God. You gotta know who you are. You gotta know who you are. You gotta know who you are. That is why people live below their privilege. They're calling on a God they don't know but the word of God is nigh thee even in thy mouth the words that we speak for those who know their God Daniel eleven twenty three, shall be strong and shall do great exploits is that right when you know who you are Jesus he never said thus saith the Lord you know why because he is the Lord of glory. Hallelujah. But in that skin veil, they beheld him as just the son. A sonship of God. God created a body that you and I could behold, could live with. Is that right? And then he take up that body 
And when he took up that body, the spirit come back upon the church. Oh, listen to me now, brethren. And that spirit is upon the church. Uh, hallelujah. Through the peace of the feast of Pentecost, through seven church ages. Hallelujah. That spirit is upon the church. Uh, as the Son of God. Are you there with me? Hallelujah. Glory. But in St. Luke 17 and verse 30, he said, Even thus shall it be. Because in St. Luke 17, the Bible says, As the days of Noah be. As the days of Lot. Even thus shall it be in the day when this son of man is revealed. Is that right? Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, the son of man. The prophets of the Old Testament, they were a son of man. A prophet. Man that God speaks through. Hallelujah. But all those continue until John. Then the changing of the priesthood. Hallelujah. Now he speak by his son, Jesus Christ. Who he has ordained here of all things. Is that right? Hallelujah. And when he died, the son of man, he rose the son of God on the third day. Is that right? Hallelujah. Amen. And he's back into the church according to St. John 14. Is that right? They will not see me, but you shall see me because I live. You shall live also a little while and the world see me no more, but you shall see me. Is that right? Where is he? He's here. So when we sing, he's here. Hallelujah. He's here. Who are you talking about? He's here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the power of his resurrection. That that revelation bring him back into the church. His arrival. Right. Then can St. Mark 16 come into effect. Because these scriptures are spoken of. But without revelation. Is a rat. Then, hallelujah, send Mark 11. Come back in manifestation because you know who he is and you know who you are. Have faith in God. For if you would say to this mountain, if you would say to this sickness, if you would say to this cancer, if you would say to this high blood pressure, if you would say to this diabetes, if you would say to this tumor, hallelujah, glory, because the word of God is nigh thee, even in thy mouth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. God is going to break ranks. When he come 2,000 years ago, they were the organization of the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the Herodians. And Jesus didn't join the church. No, sir. But yet he went into the synagogue and his words did offend them. Hallelujah. That day when he went into the synagogue, as the custom was on the Sabbath day, and the priest sent to him the scroll and he began to read. He found the place where it was written of him. Hallelujah. And he began to read as our prophecy. Hallelujah. How did he know what scripture was for that day? The spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me to preach deliverance to the captive. The opening of the eyes of the blind. Oh God to set at liberty them that are bruised. Hallelujah. And there was another part of the scripture. And he left that for the time. And he stopped right there. Because that part of the scripture was not to be fulfilled yet. But he knew the scripture for that day. And the Bible says, and he closed the book. And he gave it back to the priest. And the Bible said, and all eyes were fastened on him. And they begin to say, never a man read the scroll like this. It is not this Joseph and Mary's son? And he began to say to them this day, is this scripture fulfilled in your very eyes? They should have known who he was 
when he read it on that day but their eyes were blinded and brethren 2,000 years from then he come back into the synagogue hallelujah like he is this day and when we read the scripture hallelujah the bible said and even until now when moses is read the veil is still over their eyes but when it shall turn to the lord the veil shall be taken away he can't go back to the jews until the gentiles recognize him Amen. He can't go back to the Jews until the Gentiles recognize him. But he's come to the Gentiles in seven church ages. Hallelujah. Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamos, Thyatira, Philadelphia. Amen. Sorry. Let us see. Seven church ages, which is a type of the Pentecostal feast. And at the end of the Pentecostal feast, amen, there's going to be another feast, the feast of trumpet. Where he's going to go back to the Jews. And they're going to recognize him and said, Where did you get those cars? And he's going to tell them, In the house of my friends. But that's for another day. But recognize your day. And his message. For blindness in part. Has happened to Israel. Until the fullness of the Gentiles come in. This is your day. Your day to recognize him. Hallelujah. There's a falling away. But there's a coming back. We're in the restoration. Of the bright tree. Amen. Hallelujah. And the bright tree. He's got to put on fruit in this day. Remember now Jesus said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am the vine. You are the branches. Remember the fruit does not bear on the vine. Where are the fruits? On the branches. You've got to bear the fruit. And what are the fruit of the spirit for this day? Love. Joy. Peace. Gentleness. Long suffering. Oh hallelujah. Glory. You've got to know your day. Is that right? And when a people know their day and recognize who they are, then the power of God will return back to the church. Listen to this. God never changes. His power is just the same as it was from the creation of time. God made and spoke in the beginning. Hallelujah. It was a word. And the word was God. Hallelujah. The word was with God and the word was God. Hallelujah. The word was made flesh and dwell among us. Amen. The word returned back into the spirit again. Living among men. Hallelujah. Just the same God living through the age. But where is he today? The word is in you again. Is that right? That they who know their God. For your living epistles. Living epistles. You are living epistles. Red of all men. Hallelujah. The God that the world will see is the people of God that believe the word of God for their day that will make the word of God live in the people today. Hallelujah. So let us bring Jesus back on the scene. Is that right? Oh, the church has got its program. But the word of God has got a program. Hallelujah. But then Jesus whipped them out of the house. Because they were charging money. And doing all these things in the house of God. And that's what they're doing again. You know the other day I see. Him in a tape you know online. It was a 100 year celebration. Him in an apostolic church. In Jamaica. And the highlight of the meeting is that they were collecting money. They were asking who can bring a thousand US dollars. Who can bring so much. And I said this is what was in the house of God. Why he plucked whip and whipped them out of the church. He said my father's house is a house of pearl. You have made it a den of thieves and robbers. And here it is again. 100 years after. That they have caused a prosperity gospel. 
Amen. I mean, when rich men are and fool and bewitch the people with lies. Amen. I mean, they have stopped preaching the gospel of repentance. Hallelujah. Amen. That you can walk a certain way, do a certain thing. Amen. God is obligated to bless you. Hey, God's not obligated to bless you in your condition. Amen. But he said, if you will return to me, I will return unto you. Hallelujah. Glory. They would bewitch the people. That's what they have today. Is a right. Turning men against each other. Hallelujah. The problem, your problem is because your husband is doing you something. Your wife is doing your neighbor. That's the gospel of today. A lying spirit has come over the church. But you remember the time of Micah. Hallelujah. Amen. That a spirit come in the presence of God. Who will go? Hallelujah. A lying spirit in their mouth. And go prophesy to the multitude. Here it is again. Hallelujah. But somebody said, is there not another voice? Is there not another voice? Said, yes, there is one. But every time in prophesy, in prophesy against us. Oh, let us go call him. And when Micaiah come, you got to understand anointing, you know. When Micaiah come in their presence, the presence of the 400 lying prophets, that anointing dropped on him and he said, go. But he said, hold on a little bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go see God and see what God's going to say about it. I wish the church today would stop and go back to the word of God and seek God for the answer for God. Hello. It would heal their land. Micah said, he come back with the word of God. He said, I say, Israel, scatter like a sheep without shepherd. They said, see what I said? Lock him up. When I come back from the battle, I will deal with him. And Micah said, if you come back from that battle, then God have not spoken. Brethren, let me tell you, if this church... If the church of today, with all its lying prophets and false anointing, amen, it should make it into glory. Oh, then the whole Bible is a mess. But I tell you, God is going to honor his word. Is that right? They will not come out of this battle. But there's a Micah up on the land. He might not say where they want to hear, but he's going to get back to the original word and say what the word of God is. We say this morning, who is on the Lord's side? Who will stand for the word of God? It might be unpopular in this day, but who will stand up? Hallelujah! Like Micah in this day and declare God that he's still alive and his word is still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Hebrew 13 8 is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hello! Glory! And they don't want to hear it, but the word of God, hallelujah, is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. Dividing asunder. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. And what God wants in this hour is somebody, somebody to take God at His word. But this is what God's words say. But this is what God's words say. You know, I feel like, but this is what God's words say. Oh, you know, I think, but this is what God's words say. God cannot deny his own word. God cannot deny his word and still be God. No, sir. Hallelujah. Jezebel is going to fall. Amen. And the Jezebel system is going to fall. Amen. The church that take Rome as its example, it's going to fall. Babylon. He's going to fall. Hallelujah. But the word of God is rising up. And he said, if my people 
who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and see my face and oh glory and repent that I God I'm going to hear from heaven and I'm going to heal their land oh Jesus oh glory it's going to be the church again where God says but I've given her space to repent and she repented not when she's going into a direction which is directly against God's word you know we're seeing today where you know see where Benny Hinn comes out and he apologized and amen you know he stood up against his fellow preachers who have been preaching this prosperity gospel because it's a lie from the pit of hell and I say to them how many have been led astray by it that are in the grave today thinking that they were saved because some lying preachers amen tell them a lie against God's word are you there with me Oh, but if they would repent and get back to the word of God. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 24. Hallelujah. Jesus began to tell them. He said, and repentance and remission of sins should be preached in my name. Beginning at Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Brethren, may I tell you, the book of Acts is not a myth. It is a hurly church in action. And any church that does not start it out, like the book of Acts, has fallen away from the word of God and must come back to the first love. Are you there with me? And any church, amen, that does not recognize the name of Jesus Christ as a name given among men whereby they must be saved, must come back to the word of God and realize that God has spoken in this day and God cannot deny his own word. Any church that does not recognize that it's not under profession, of intellectuality or intellectual belief or fundamental belief that you are saved but it's by the baptism of the Holy Ghost that church must come back because in Acts 19 hallelujah the apostle Paul asked them have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe not when you believe that's false doctrine he said, we have not heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. He said, unto what then had you believe? He said, we believe unto John baptism. He said, John merely baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying that you must believe on him which is to come. Hallelujah, which is Jesus Christ. And John, amen, Paul therefore baptized them. Hallelujah. Amen, in the name of the Lord. Lay hands on them and they receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Is that the church? Is that the gospel? Hallelujah. And when Peter came to Cornelius' house, to the Gentiles like you and I, the Bible said, and while Peter yet speak these words, the Holy Ghost fell upon them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. I've had testimonies after testimonies. Amen. They write me from Uganda. Amen. The brother said, Brother Keaton, while you preach, the Holy Ghost came upon me. Amen. I've had a reporter. The brother said, I was sick. Amen. My spine was sick. And it was in pain. But while the word go forth, I was healed completely in the name of Jesus Christ. His power is still the same. And this morning, he can heal your house. He can heal your relationship. This morning, he can heal your finances. Hallelujah. The secrets of your heart, he knows it. Amen. You've got a sacred trust of virtue to the word of God. Don't sell it. To Delilah no sir it is between you and God hallelujah and if you've never been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ 
you've never received your Christian baptism. Oh, Brother Keith, that's harsh. But that's the Bible truth. Never a person in Bible until Nicaea Rome that anyone was ever baptized in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Somebody's got to tell you the truth. And don't get upset when you hear the truth. Just believe it. Because the Bible backs up the truth. Search the scripture. Search these things. See if these things are the truth. And if these things are the truth, say like Luther said in, in 1520, he said, but my conscience is captive to the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says when they came back, they rejoice. They had seen miracles. Even demons subjected unto us. I tell you about the power of witchcraft. I've seen it with my own eyes. Hallelujah. I've seen those who stand upon the authority of demon power crumble at the feet because of the name of Jesus Christ and repent and was baptized in water. But I've seen those sellers Amen in Kampala. Amen at nightfall they left their fruits and their vegetables right there on the stall and they walk away and leave them. They don't worry about anything brother Mackey because they believe in witchcraft. And they said if anybody ever touch anything and never put leave the money may God help them. The power of witchcraft. Amen but I still tell you this morning there's no power as great as the power of Jesus Christ. Challenge witch doctors. Hallelujah. Challenge ancestral beliefs in the name of Jesus Christ. And watch them fall down at the power of Almighty God. Because God is a mighty God. So we say this morning, let the storm clouds rise. They don't worry me. For I'm sheltered safe within the arms of God. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. And if you'd come back to the word of God, then you'd see the manifestation of God's word. God works within an atmosphere. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How we rejoice at the word of God. Amen. Somebody said, hallelujah. Every time I lay down in my bed, I feel somebody coming into the bed with me. Talking about demon power. I said, listen. I said, go back to your house and read St. John 14 and verse 13 and 14. Hallelujah. And when you lie down in your bed... Don't expect nobody to be there because nobody will be there because the power of God by his word expel every demon from your house. Do you believe? Do you believe? And if you ask the father anything in my name, I will do it. God's word can't fail. God becomes guilty of his word until he bring it to pass. Hello! When you hold on to the covenant of God, God will keep his word. The Bible said to Abram, the father of our faith, he staggered not at the promise of God to unbelief. But he was faithful to the promise. I want to see a God with substance in this hour. You know, somebody just showed me the picture of our brother Chisinda's church. And in the corner of the church lie there crutches and walking sticks and all that, a pile of them lean up in the corner. And they say, you see that? That's people who come to the church supporting themselves in that. And they leave them and go back home because God healed their bodies. That's the God who I serve in this hour. Hello! For if he is not God of everything, then he is not God at all. 
Daniel God. Hello. Surely will deliver. Amen. But rejoice not. Because demons are subjected unto you. But rejoice. Because your name is written in heaven. You can't put fire in your bosom. And don't expect to get burned. You're going to get burned. Hallelujah. It's because of misinterpreted theology. Why people find themselves exactly where they are today. But when you hear the truth. Nothing happened by chance. You are here this morning. Not because you wanted to be here. But because God caused you to be here. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Before the foundation of the world. God calls you. To go many places. But this morning. You couldn't be anywhere else. You have to be here. God says. I want to talk to you. I want you to hear my voice. Hallelujah. And I'm going to bring you here. That you hear my voice. And when you hear my voice. Harden on your heart. Don't step in your neck. Because God. Say every man has got a right. To hear it once. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My, my, my. When I hear about a God that is alive, a God's not, not, that's not dead, a God who is still a healer, a God who is still a problem solver, a God who is still a savior. And let me tell you all the redemptive name of Jehovah. What do you call him? Jehovah your banner? Jehovah Nissi. Jehovah your peace? Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah your righteousness? Jehovah your healer, Jehovah Rapha. Whatever you call him is not one name without the other. Are you there with me somebody? Jesus said my peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. How oh, I've covered you like a hen cover Jehovah Nissi. Hallelujah. Is your righteousness. Hallelujah. Is your healer. Glory. Is not one without the other. And when you recognize him for who he is. Then Jehovah God. Begins to work in your life. Is that right? And I tell you oh glory to God. People said Lord God give me a gift. Give me a gift. You don't need no gift. No you need the giver of the gift. Hallelujah. And under the presence of the anointing of God, the nine, nine spiritual gifts were right there in your midst. Somebody has a tongue. Somebody has interpretation. Somebody has a prophecy. Somebody has a word of wisdom. Hello! Because it's given to the church of the last day to keep the church clean. Hello, somebody. And it's got to be manifested in the church. Are you there with me? Hello! And God, Jehovah, God is here this morning with his word. Hallelujah. That if you are a sinner, Jesus Christ is a savior. And before you were a sinner, he was already a savior. He's a savior because you're a sinner. There's a deep calling unto a deep. And because there's a deep call, there's a deep to respond. Oh, Hallelujah. Before you were sick, God was a healer. And God would heal you of all your diseases. Hello, somebody. When you recognize who he is, that he's your healer, you can walk away from that sickness. Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? And what God wants this morning is somebody to take him at his word. Hallelujah. That if you're barren, Sarah, hallelujah, was an old woman and she bring forth the child and you can bring forth this morning, hallelujah, glory and there's turmoil in your home but Jehovah revealed to you, I am Jehovah Shalom, my peace is with you this morning, you can have whatsoever you need in Jesus name, God is not dead, 
is alive. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you feel you have no victory, you have that victory this morning in Jesus' name. What God wants is somebody to receive it and take him at his word. And your life needs direction. He will give you that direction this morning. Hallelujah. Have you ever seen situations where you don't know what to do? Well, I'll tell you what. My God knows exactly what you ought to do because he will go before you and he will clear the way before you. Hallelujah. How many have received their healing because he's Jehovah Rapha? Oh, hallelujah. How many have peace this morning? Hallelujah, because he's Jehovah Shalom. Don't let your faith be paralyzed by your unbelief this morning because Jesus is all that the words say that he is. Do you believe that this morning? If you've never been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that is the start of your Christian walk. Oh, but I've walked for 50 years. That is the real start. Hello. Do what the word of God says. The, the Bible says when you're baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it chop off all your whole sin. Eh? And if God chop off all your whole sin, your past sin, you're a candidate for the Holy Ghost. Are you there with me? And when God chop off your whole sin, don't go tangle again yourself in the yoke of bondage. Seek the Holy Ghost. And God give the Holy Ghost to those who ask of him. Amen. Hallelujah. Because it's the Holy Ghost that interprets God's word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. They, they said, oh, men read this, write the scripture. No, no, no. Holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. And that Holy Ghost, where is he this morning? It's in you. Where is Jesus Christ? He's in you. Amen. You want to see God? The only God this world will ever see is a God in the believer. Because the Bible says, he cometh in the cloud. Hello, somebody. And we raise up to meet the Lord in the year. He's not coming back. No, 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 not no, not no, not no. You're going to meet him in the year. But there's going to be two resurrection. Hallelujah. The Bible said, blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection upon whom the second death has no power. But if you miss the first resurrection, you'll be standing before him at the white throne judgment where the Bible said he separates as a shepherd, separating sheep from goat. Hallelujah. Amen. But where are you standing this morning? If Jesus Christ would make the call right now. You know exactly where you would stand because the word of God tell you exactly where you're standing. And what have you done, done with it? If you hear his voice, harden not your heart. May we bow our heads everywhere. If the word could be born in Mary, then that word can be born in you this morning. Hallelujah. Play that song. She was a virgin bride to be. And one night. <clears throat> Hallelujah. With our heads bow. For the way you want to sing, that's all right. <clears throat> Ponder the word of God this morning. Where are you standing? Are you where God really wants you to be? She was a virgin bride to be. Are you ready for your maker? And she lay quietly, what does the word say about your life this morning? Overshadowed her and say that you'll conceive a child that sin cannot defy. And she said, Be it unto me. According to thy word. Oh, and she kept those things. And she kept these things. And pondered them deep within her heart. 
Is there somebody who would like to be remembered this She's morning? You can lift your hand. God bless you. God bless you. Never one time for desires to depart. If the word can be born in me. You see the many hands that has been raised this morning. Lord God, we stand in need of you this morning. Lord God, we don't want to be just hearers of the word, but Lord God, doers of the word. Lord God, we know that there's a dark cloud that is covering this earth this morning. Because Lord God, Satan is taking his stance. And Lord God, the battleground is the mind of the believer. The Lord God, many are deceived in this hour, thinking, oh God, that they're worshiping you. But Lord God, they are far from the word of God. But Lord God, this morning we stand upon the authority of God's word. And we said, Lord God, may the prison bars be broken. May the prison doors be open. Lord God, may the shackles be fall, fall off, oh God and Lord. May the sinners walk free this morning to accept you as a Lord and Savior. Lord God, we cry out this morning from deep within the necessities of our being. Lord Jesus, Lord God, take back your children. Lord, take your church. Lord God, may your church be a reflection of you this morning. Lord God, may you do the things that you promised that you will do, oh God. Lord Jesus, may the church of St. Mark 16, Lord God, may the church of St. Mark 11 be in action again, oh God. Lord, as we see the world in turmoil, Lord God, may your children, oh God, stand for you, oh God. May the cry go forth this morning. Who is on the Lord's side? Who will stand for him? Who will stand up for righteousness? Who will stand by the word of God? Lord Jesus, we cry this morning. The Lord God, the Old Testament gospel, Lord, the gospel of the book of Acts, oh God, may come back into the church. May the power of Almighty God, oh God, be restored. Lord, may we create the atmosphere, oh God, by your lies, by your testimony, by your praise. Lord God, may we pray the fire down. Oh God, may people come under desperation because, Lord God, they're not satisfied with their lives. But, Lord God, I pray that, Lord God, a life would cry out today. Lord God, I yield, I yield. I cannot take it any longer. Oh God, move in a mighty way by the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord God, we bind the forces of evil and we pray this morning the Lord God there not be a spirit of prosperity but Lord God a spirit of repentance that would come over your children the Lord God the true blessings of Calvary oh God might come over your people. Have thine own way God. Bring lives under new management of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, may our lives, our testimony, dovetail with the word of God. And may the church say amen to your word. Bless us, Lord, as we look to you today and believe you. Lord God, for the sinners within our gates this morning. Lord God, we pray, God, that there be a spirit of repentance. The Lord God, somebody... Oh, God might not just take the essence of being in church this morning, but Lord God, may they surrender their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, may somebody, oh God, take the plunge of Acts 2.38, repent and baptize in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins, and may they receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord, you said the promise was unto them their children, unto them that are far off, even as many as the Lord God shall call. Lord, call somebody this morning, somebody else, oh God, that has a mark of Christ, call them to the fold, and may they respond to the call of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bless us now as we look to you and believe you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you as we stand.